What is going on everyone? Michael is back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send a Teams notification every time you receive an email. So every time I want to see if I have an email, I just check my Teams and get a notification that way. So it's super convenient and it saves me a lot of time. And if I'm not even at my computer, I can still see the emails. So to start, this is what I do. So I personally have my own team. So if you don't have one, I'd recommend creating one for yourself as, you know, just to play around with. If you want to contact your SharePoint admin or Teams admin, or if you're allowed to create one yourself, go ahead. So we will add a channel. I will call this email notifications. And we'll just leave it standard since I'm the only one. This is my own personal team. All right. So we got the channel set up. This is going to be personally just for all the email notifications. Let's go ahead and make sure the uh, channel notifications is on before we do anything. All right, so let's hop into Power Automate where most of the work will be done. So new flow, automate cloud flow. We'll name this email notifications. The trigger will be that email. When a new email arrives, v version three, so V3. So click on that one. All right, so I personally want all the emails to my inbox to send me a Teams notification. So if you want a certain inbox or whatever, you have a separate folder in your Outlook, you can go ahead and change it, but I'll leave it for my whole inbox. So next up, chat. And this will be post message in chat or channel from for Microsoft Teams. We'll just send it as Flowbot channel. We will go ahead and select the Michael's personal team. And the channel will be email notifications. All right, so this uh, step will give us a few options. And there's a thing I have to show you, something really cool. So for the message, a new email has been received. Here are some details below. So within this, if you notice, it doesn't actually say who, who sent the email. So we will have to write an expression to pull the JSON from this when a new email arrives. And I've already done it for you, so I'll just put it in the, uh, the bio so you can copy it yourself. But we will say sender uh, subject and body so we'll just do something really simple like this so for the sender so yeah the sender isn't in any of these options so we do have to write a custom expression for this and this will be at trigger outputs body from so I'll just leave it on the screen for a second so you guys can uh, write that down in the expression field. All right, oh, expressions unveiled. <laughs> I forgot to remove the uh, brackets on the end and the at. So this is the actual expression you wanna write. And press okay. So subject, you can just press this one. Body, same thing. And this looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and press save. All right, it's on, so let me bring up my Outlook right here. New email. So, since this connection is set up to this account, it's gonna look at this Microsoft Outlook, FYI. So we'll send an email to that. Subject, hey, the water fountain broke or something. Hi, we need help. <laughs> something funny or something. All right, so we got the email ready. We'll go ahead and send it. Let's see if we get the notification. So it could take a second. All right, I just got the new email received notification. 
There we go. There's the uh, notification for Teams. Let's check it out. Ooh, a new email has been received. Here's some details below. Sunder. Okay, we got the sunder. That field works. Subject's all good. And there's the body. So this is a nice little preview if you don't have Outlook on your phone. I have Teams on my phone, so if I'm out and about, I can see all the emails being sent to my Outlook inbox when I'm on the go. So I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I I love this little workflow I've created. I do use it every day. So I hope you guys get some knowledge from it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll give you guys some more tutorials coming soon. Till the next one.